Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Kyoptrix VM from Vulnhub. So this is an awesome VM. I've done this box before. It's been a while, but it's an awesome VM. Remember, this, this site, Vulnhub, is strictly for learning purposes. These machines are for testing your skills in cybersecurity and pen testing and exploitation, vulnerability assessments, and all this good stuff. So it's an awesome, awesome site to learn. So with these walkthroughs, hopefully these are informative for you guys, and I really appreciate you watching them. So please like, subscribe, and all that good stuff, you know? So this is all for educational purposes, right? So it's not like we're running these scans on out there on the crazy websites, and this is all on my network at home, okay? So as you see here, let's just go up. We're gonna be doing level one today. And let me open up my other screen. So what we can do here is I wanna open up two of, my, two of my windows here. Let's let's go back here. So let's go, let's go over a little bit of this box, right? So this is a this is a challenge. It says it's an easy challenge. So we'll see how easy it is. It's been a while since I've done this. So so the object of this game is to acquire root access via any means possible. So any way you want to get root access to this box, you win the challenge, right? You can do whatever way you want, but you just have to make sure you're root, and we will do that today, all right? So accept, uh, expect actually hacking the VM server or player, blah, blah, blah. So the purpose of these games are to learn the basic tools and techniques in vulnerability assessment and exploitation, all right? So there's more than, uh, uh, there are more ways than one to successfully complete this challenge, meaning there's not only one way to root this box, there's multiple ways, like it says. All right, so you can come down and you can download, whoops, not there, download the image here. And once you download the image, you can import it into your hypervisor, which is VMware or VirtualBox. In my case, I'm using VirtualBox. All right, so let's minimize that now. All right, so the first things first, Let's do an if config really quick, ETA zero, and my IP. You know what, let's uh, exit out of here, make this bigger, and we can go here, and we'll just do an if config ETA zero, and we have 172.16.1.6. So next thing we can do is just run an ARP, just to see what IP address, what, what IP address is mine, is .6, and what IP address is the VM that we're trying to root, is 25. So let's copy this, go to this. Before we actually, we can just, I always do this first. We know it's a web server, but now we, what we can do is, let's just clear this. All right, whoops, clear this out. So now what we can do next is run an nmap scan, right? nmap scan is gonna do a network map where we can see what services are running, what vulnerabilities, what ports are open, and all that good stuff. So what we're gonna do is nmap-a, we can do a dash a and then do dash sv and 172.16.1.25 and what did I do wrong? Oh, I did, I didn't do a capital A. All right, so what we're gonna do here is run an MF scan. Once this scan comes back, it'll give us the results. Actually, what I wanted, uh, that's fine. I wanted to put it to an output file so it's fine now, it, it doesn't really matter. I'm not worried about that right now. So the next thing is what we're gonna do is see the services and the ports that are open. And once we have that, we can put that in Cherry Tree. So let's start go, let's go ahead and open up our Cherry Tree. I don't have Cherry Tree here, let's open up Cherry Tree. And let's go ahead and do a new note. And we can do, uh, let's do kind of, So now we can do a subnote, which nmap, I can spell nmap. So we're gonna put that nmap results here. And then just like I do in my other videos, so we can just start notating what we're doing and all that good stuff. All right, so cool. So this is all good. Let's bring this all the way up and copy this and paste it here. All right, 
So that's our Nmap scan. Let's go back and we can analyze this. So we have port 22. We have port 80, which we know because we went to the web server. We have port uh, RPC bind, which is 111. We have 139, which is Samba. That's probably something good. 443, Apache. And let's see what else. And 3,200, oh, 32,768. All right. So we have all these ports. So what is the next thing we can do? We can see that it's running SMB, right? So we can see, where is our SMB? Samba, 139. So what we can do, we can run an, uh, our scan MBT stat, our MBT scan. So what this is gonna do, it's gonna see if there's any S, uh, SMB, uh, NBT stat uh, scans on this box. So right now, we have the NetBIOS name and the user, so that's good. So we can take this and throw this in our, our findings. Let's go back to Cherry Tree. MVT scan. Okay, perfect. All right, so now what we can do, there's a few things we can do now, right? We can check, so let's go back to here. What I wanna do next is I wanna pop open I'm going to pop open MSF console, and I'm going to, Chris, oh, man, I just, I killed the, the results. Damn it. Uh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's do this, clear this, and map. Uh, let's do 25. All right, so we're going to scan this again. I, uh, once we have that open, I'm going to look at this SMB version. So what we're going to do here is just search as SMB underscore version version. All right. So we're going to scan this and see if it's vulnerable to it. Right. So we can copy this. Or we can just put use zero. Okay. We show options. Oops. Show. I want to try to go a little quicker. Show options so we can set our host 172.16.1.25. Okay, we're gonna run this really quick. And we can see, all right, perfect. Now we have the Samba version. So we have the Samba version. Let's copy this. Let's put this in Cherry Tree. SMB Samba. Okay. So now we have the Samba version, right? 2.2.1a. So let's go back here. We should see that here too. Uh, do, 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 do. Right here. So we have we have Samba. We didn't know the version. That's why we had to run that. But we also have mod S SSL. This might be a vulnerability. There's multiple multiple factors. All right. So now let's go ahead and just do a quick Google search. All right. So let's Google. I want to Google. Maybe I still have it in here. Exploit. Okay. So let's just go to Rapid Seven. So we can see here the Samba trans to open overflow, right? So we can use this exploit to see if we can get root access. All right. So with this, we can possibly get it. We don't know yet because we haven't tested it. So let's go ahead and open up. Uh, let's go back to Searchploit. Let's go ahead and exit this. And actually, I, I should have just said back. I, didn't, I shouldn't have put exit. That's my bad. So it's trans to open. Let's go ahead and uh, copy this. And wait till this comes open. Let's get a drink of water because I'm really thirsty. All right, so let's just search. Paste. Trans to open. So we have the explo four exploits here. We have BSD, Linux, Mac OS, and Solarius. So obviously we're gonna use one because we're using Linux, okay? So there's no pay payload configure configured, so it's defaulting to Linux, uh, interpreter, reverse TCP. I wanna actually change that. I don't wanna use that payload. So let's just do set payload. And I wanna use uh, generic and then uh, shell 
reverse TCP. All right, so show options. So now my payload is generic. I remember from the last time I did this a while back, when I left it on the default, it was just kept on dying and killing that session. So I remember this from, you know, I did this box about two, three months ago. So that's good. So let's, we have the option. So let's go ahead and set our host. And it's 172.16.1.25. All right, so that's the, that's the our host because that's the box that we're trying to exploit. Okay, so now let's just go ahead and show options one more time. Make sure everything's good, perfect. Let's just run this. Let's see if we can get something. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll give that a moment. Let's see. Okay, boom. Looks like it's popping some shells. Oh man. All right, so who am I? Root. I think we did it. ID. Root. GID is root. So I think we are good. We're good here. We just did it. This is pretty much it. We rooted the box. So now we can copy this. Let's copy this whole thing. And just put here. Add note. Root access. Done. Boom. We got root. That pretty much is it. We, we did it. We uh, compromised the level one. So if you guys find this video informative, thank you for viewing. Hit like, subscribe, share. Until next time, have a good one, guys. Thank you.